So a question that I get asked all the time is to briefly summarise what my PhD is all about. And obviously that's kind of a difficult thing to do because in order to even start the PhD I had to do a four year physics course. And the PhD itself is a project that takes between three and four years. So condensing that information down to somebody who's from outside of the field is a little bit difficult to say the least. But I'm going to try and do that in this video and to make it more interesting I'm going to try and do that in under 60 seconds. That way. I can never do that. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Right. So my PhD is in the field of climate physics, and more specifically than that, it's in stratosphere-troposphere coupling. And what the PhD is basically about is trying to answer the question of how weather at 15 kilometres and um, above, above the surface, affects the weather at the surface. Now, the way in which we try and do that is by looking at events called sudden stratospheric warmings. And these are really, really violent events in the Earth's atmosphere. And they occur where the polar vortex, which is this big donut-shaped uh, lump of air over the North Pole, slows down. And accompanied by that slowing is a huge, very, very quick warming of the atmosphere over the North Pole. And that goes from the level of the vortex right the way down to the surface. And what that does is it affects storm tracks and it affects the pressure pattern at the surface and so it changes the weather. So what I do in my PhD is construct different physical models of increasing complexity that look at that situation, ask the question, given a particular event with the vortex, what happens at the surface? Boom! 60 seconds! Now that's only like a really brief introduction to the field. If this sounds interesting to you, then in two weeks' time, starting in two weeks, I'm going to be doing a series on my channel of three crash course style videos, so like 10 minutes long, uh, serving as an introduction to atmospheric physics, to the stratosphere, and to sudden stratospheric warmings, respectively, over three episodes. So if you like the sound of that, then make sure you stick around, and um, if you haven't already, you know, subscribe to the channel. Why do YouTubers have to keep... And I hope this kind of cleared things up a little bit. It probably made things more complicated, but if you want to make those things clearer, then, you know, come back in two weeks' time. Next week, there's going to be a video on uh, applying to Oxford and Cambridge. I'm basically trying to answer every question you could possibly have about the application procedure and in the video and also directing you to other resources. So that's going to be next week. Stratosphere stuff starting in two weeks. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, then you can follow me on... I should probably point to stuff on the screen, shouldn't I? Follow me on Twitter, and you can also like me on Facebook. And that's it. Oh, you know, you can subscribe to the channel and like the video. Again, pushing myself. It's like I'm a product. And if you're a PhD student by chance watching this video, then please put down in the comments a brief version of what your thesis is going to be about and what your project is. Because... It'd be really interesting to see if there are actually any of you out there and what you guys are up to. You know, we're not alone. Solidarity.